Hello and welcome at the buying review of the Ford Focus ST that was built between 2005 and 2011. We will inspect this car for its weaknesses so that when you decide to buy this car, you have all the information you need. This Focus is the second generation Focus ST that was still available with the Volvo 5 cylinder engine. This engine makes a lovely noise, is very potent and still quite reliable. Ford shows the world that it had knowledge to make very capable hot hatchbacks. The Focus ST also called the ST225. It had two variants, a 3 door and a 5 door hatchback. There was no estate version available for this generation. Ford wanted to let you know that this car is serious hardware. When they introduced the car it broke the record at the Nuremberg Ring. This happened at the introduction and it also happened when the facelift was introduced. Back then not many manufacturers tested their performance cars at the ring. The great appeal of the ST is the fact that you can use this car as a daily driver but you can also drive it very fast on the circuit if you want. If you want to go even more hardcore then Ford also has an RS on sale. But this car is less of a compromise between comfort and sportiness. The ST however is made by the same team as the RS. So both cars are quite serious machines. The ST came to the market in 2005 and in 2008 there was a first facelift. But the facelift was not any faster performance wise. All Focus STs had turbocharged 2.5 liter 20 valve Volvo engines that was connected to a 6 speed manual transmission. 0 to 100 km an hour or 0 to 60 miles was done in 6.8 seconds. Top speed was 241 km an hour. Ford's in house tuner had a sports package available. With this package, power figures changed, so now the engine had 260 horsepower and 400 newton meters. And the sprints from 0 to 60 miles an hour could now be done in 1.5 seconds faster. A quick look online shows me that there are about 25 cars available on sale on a Dutch car trader website. The cheapest cars were 7500 euros and the most expensive 14000 euros. The ratio between 3 and 5 door cars was about 50-50. Most cars are available in white, grey or black. This being a special car it also has special colors available like orange, red and of course blue. Let's focus on the strong points of this car. Great combination between usability and sportiness. A great 5 cylinder soundtrack. Great performance especially with the mount tune package. Now let's move on to the attention points of the car. Let's start with the drive line. The tension rollers of the timing belt of the 5 cylinder sometimes will break around 75,000 km. So make sure they are recently replaced or negotiate to have them replaced while buying the car. If you decide to change them, make sure that you change the timing belt itself and the water pump. This will save you some labor costs in the future. If you have to do these repairs separate, then the mechanics need much more time overall and this will result in higher costs. Pre-facelift cars can sometimes have troubles with a torn cylinder wall. A signal of these things failing can be found near the oil filler cap. You can find a minus kind of substance on the inside of the filler cap. Cars can then have misfires. If this happens, walk away or negotiate a new price including an engine swap. These problems occur mostly in tuned versions of the ST. Next thing that can break is the oil filter house. Symptoms of this can be heard in a strange whistling sound coming from the engine when idling. Also check the turbo pressure meter. An original car, in other words a car that was not tuned, the pressure gauge of the turbo will just exceed over half of the scale. After releasing the gas pedal it will go back to about half a bar of pressure. Does your car show different values? Then you can almost be sure that your ST is chipped. If the car under load does not exceed over a quarter then the coil of the turbo valve is broken. 
This part will cost about 100 euros and an average techie will be able to replace this part himself. The clutch is also an intention point, especially for the pre-facelift cars. The clutch can slip when releasing it on full torque potential. You can also choose to mount the clutch of the RS instead. These are more wear and tear proof. When doing so, do not forget the dual mass flywheel and some other RS parts. This could potentially be costly. There was also a recall at Ford because the drive shafts started ticking. If the drive shafts ticks, this is a good indication that the recall has not been applied yet. Solving these problems can be solved for not too much money at your specialist or Ford dealer. If you ignore this problem, then chances are you will have to replace the whole drive shaft and this will run you about 500 euros. Some owners complain that the fuel sensor will break down on some cars. Now let's focus on the chassis. The carrying arms of the chassis are sensitive. Check for thumping sounds at speed bumps. The wishbones on the front are mounted with liquid filled cans. These can start to leak, causing the tires on the inside to wear harder. And you have more trouble with torque steer. The solution? If you swear by original parts, you have to buy the wishbones, including buses from Ford. Now let's move on to the interior. The Focus 2 suffers from leakage in the trunk along the hinges of the tailgate. Check whatever the upholstery is dry and if there is no water under the trunk floor. The seats are great, but the rear attachment of the driver's seat sometimes breaks off. Check whether the chair does not wobble. Other attention points. The reservoir of the wiper fluid sometimes leaks, but replacement means that the mud guard must also be removed from the car. This is a labor intensive so expensive exercise. If you fill up with petrol with a higher octane rating, you can have a lot of fun there. Journalists tested the car on octane 95 and 98 at one time. The difference was almost 20 horsepower. And talking about refueling, you will start to call the gas attendant by its first name soon. If you use the power frequently, then the 5 cylinder enjoys taking a sip. Thanks for watching this buying review of the Ford Focus ST. I hope it was useful for you. If so, subscribe to my channel.